Hello everyone. If you're here because you followed the link in the description, thank you. If you're here because you come here to read the word with us, thank you. Um, if you're new here, welcome. We read the word or we try to every day and grow closer to Christ and we try to share the gospel with others. For the Bible says that it must be spread to the four corners of the earth before the return of Christ. And it's our job to do so. Um, so I hope you were um, led to this video either by the Lord or by someone you know. And you are very welcome to be here. We will begin with prayer and then we can jump straight into the word. If you don't already know, we are in Ezekiel chapter 10 and we will be reading the full chapter. If it helps anyone in the Bible I'm currently using, this can be found on page page 1134 1134 let's begin with prayer Dear God, thank you so much for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see another day. Thank you for providing us this platform and this community and gracing us with your presence as we come here each day to read the word. I ask that you keep us encouraged to continue to read the word even when we're not here together and also to grow closer in relationship with you as the Bible calls us to relationship and not religion. Dear God, I ask that you keep us pure in heart and keep us upright and righteous and walking on the narrow path and stay with us beside us holding our hand and keeping us in your hand so that we do not go astray dear God I ask that you provide clarity and understanding to anyone under the sound of my voice and encouragement and boldness to spread the gospel that they hear today in Jesus name I pray amen amen all right guys let us begin Ezekiel chapter 10 and it says then I looked and behold in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims there appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone as the appearance of the likeness of a throne and he spake unto the man clothed with linen and said go in between the wheels even under the cherub and fill thine hand with the coals of fire from between the cherubims and scatter them over the city and he went in my sight and now the cherubim stood on the right side of the house when the man went in and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of the Lord went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house. And the house was filled with the cloud and the court was full of the brightness of the Lord's glory. And the sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even unto the outer court as the voice of the almighty God when he speaketh. And it came to pass that when he had commanded the man cloth with linen, saying, take fire from between the wheels, from between the cherubims, then he went in and stood beside the wheels. And one cherub stretched forth his hand from between the cherubims unto the fire that was between the cherubims and took thereof and put it in the hands of him that was cloth with linen, who took it and went out and there appeared in the cherubims the form of a man's hand under their wings and when I looked behold the four wheels by the cherubims one wheel by one cherub and another wheel by another cherub and the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a beryl stone and as for their appearances, they four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not as they went, but to the place whither the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went, and their whole body and their backs and their hands and their wings and the wheels were full of eyes round about. Even the wheels that they four had, as for the wheels, it was cried unto them in my hearing, O wheel. And every one had four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub, and the second face was the face of a man, and the third face of a lion, and the fourth face of an eagle. And the cherubims were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river of Shabar. And when the cherubims went, the wheels went by them. And when the cherubims lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned not from beside them. When they stood, these stood. And when they were lifted up, these lifted themselves also. 
for the spirit of the living creature was in them. Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubims and the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight when they went out the wheels also were beside them and everyone stood at the door of the east gate of the lord's house and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. This is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river of Chabar, and I knew that they were the cherubims. Every one had four faces of peace, and every one four wings, and the likeness of the hands of a man was under their wings, and the likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river of Chabar. Their appearances and themselves, they went every one straight forward. Amen. All right, guys, that was Ezekiel chapter 10. We are going to close with prayer, and I encourage you to read more and hope to see you next time. Dear God, thank you so much for providing us today's word. I ask that you provide clarity and understanding, not just to myself, but anyone else under the sound of my voice, whether it be of what we read today or any part of the Bible they do choose to read. Continue to keep us bold and encouraged, not just to read the gospel and grow closer to you, but to spread the gospel to others. I ask that you continue to allow these videos to spread so other people who may not know you may get to know you, dear God. And I ask that you to provide healing, love, peace, and whatever uh, anyone who is listening to the sound of my voice may need right now. Meet them when, where, and how they may need and keep them upright and righteous walking on the narrow path so that we may be written in the Lamb's book of life and may get to meet you one day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. It was a joy reading with you today. I hope to see you next time. Love you guys. God loves you way more. Bye.